Hello guys, Jeremy Donson with the drumprofessor.com. Today we're going to be going over The Red by Chevelle. Super fun song. It's really a, a pretty mellow song, really melodic, but it also has some really heavy parts in it too. So really good for variety of things that the drummer does. So hope you enjoy. Here we go. Let's get started here. So quite simply, you count four beats and then you crash with the bass when he says freak. So count to four and then crash with the bass. And now let's play that and go over the first verse. Here we go. cool fill at the end of that but first let's go over the first verse and uh, get this beat down first so when we wait four measures and then crash here's what we do so we're gonna go crash with the bass crash one two with the hi-hat crash one two bass bass is by itself this has a lot of bass independence here in these beats that are coming so bass one two bass we have three basses with the hi-hat. Now the key here is to remember, first of all, it's all heavy hi-hat. Needs to be slightly separated, not closed. Um, the second key here is making sure your hi-hat never changes tempo. It always is going to stay the same, so don't ever change that uh, in order to stay on time. So, one, two, bass, air, bass, bass, bass. That's your first half. The second part is a little bit more involved, so first and second together. So bass, one, two, bass, snare, just like before, but the end is different. Bass, one, two, bass, snare, bass, 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 bass. So bass, snare, bass, 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 bass. bass high, bass high, bass high, and getting that muscle memory used to the bass not stopping at all on that and the hi-hat not stopping on that. That'll help you get this beat down. So putting them both together slowly. And speeding it up. With music, here we go. Let's try it out. Now the second part is exactly the same as the first with that but the only difference is is you have a splash or a bell of a cymbal. You can do splash, you can do bell, you can do whichever one that you have on your drum set basically. But let's listen to that real quick. Now if you if you listen to that closely, you'll hear that there's no bass with that splash, right? It's just the splash by itself. So the second half is going to go like this. So 
basically instead of going one, two, bass, snare, bass, 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 you're gonna instead of going bass, bass at the end, you're gonna go splash bass. That's the only difference you're doing. You're taking the bass out and replacing it with the splash. So Putting this together now, and then the fill on the end. Here we go. Watch. So the third, actually, it's the third run through of this beat, and then the beginning of the fourth. So. So you do the first section as normal. Right? After you do that, this is the end of the verse. So you're going to do bass pair next. After that, bass pair and we got a triple bass. Now, if you do not have a double bass pedal, you can do a double kick there with one foot, like this. it sounds like this instead of right if you need more help with how to do a double kick with one foot like that re request a video and I can do a just a video on double double kick because that is a video in itself to explain how to do that so but anyway so if you don't have a triple or a, a double pedal rather then just do one foot this all together. And then he says, so lay down. I'm not a singer. I don't want to hurt your ears. But uh, so lay down, goes into the chorus, and then it's the next beat for the chorus. So um, just to recap, let's do from beginning to this point. Such a cool song. Let's try it. So I really hope you enjoyed that, The Red by Chevelle. S super fun song. I really enjoy the song. Um, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to message me, jeremy at thedrumprofessor.com, um, or just comment below. And in case you didn't know, I'm currently offering a free one-on-one -on -one live jam session with me. So if you want to find out what level you're at and how to get to the next level in one month, feel free to take advantage of that free lesson, and I'd love to meet you. Thanks so much. Have a good one.